when we insult people, it's not just limited to the tongue. Yes, I can say, you're like this. That's an insult from the tongue. But you can also do it by gesture as well. Show in, in a certain way, by hand. For example, if someone... For, let's just give you an example. Someone has a disability. They can't walk properly. You don't say nothing to them, but you're walking in a funny way to ridicule them. That's also... Also forbidden from this verse as well. That you're looking at someone's negative trait and you're making fun of that. That is impermissible, whether it's by the tongue, <clears throat> whether it's by the hand, whether it's by gesture, whether it's by acting. Yani, if we see something negative in somebody, to highlight that in any way is impermissible in Islam. But it's done with the intention of insulting, ridiculing, defaming. Yani, kisi ko, yani, kisi ka to make people feel bad about themselves. This is absolutely impermissible in Islam. And I'll also add this as well, which is common amongst our society, especially amongst us all that are born here. And you guys may have faced this, right? So don't be defensive. I've experienced this in my family, that whenever someone tries to speak a bit of English, we ridicule their English. And I say we, meaning us who are born here. So we say, are oh, they freshy English? We take the mick out of how they speak. Like for example, one person, they, they, they saw one particular place and they pronounced it a wrong way. They pronounced a shop in a wrong way. After that, unki chairbangiti. So people were winding them up. So whenever they see, saw the shop, they would say, oh, vulvert, vulvert. And they'd make the person feel ridiculed. Porn shop. They say it's not porn, it's pound shop, brother, pound shop. But the way you're talking is disrespectful. That's also la yaskhar qawm min qawm. And then what happens is, subhanallah, we see people, this has become a trend on YouTube, right? People make videos ridiculing people. And even Muslims fall into this. And now, alhamdulillah, we've got less YouTubers that do this, but yet we'll like the video, subscribe, ha ha ha, make a meme. But <laughs> this isn't the quality of a Muslim. And I, I, I say this because we have family who are from abroad. When someone comes, when they, if you ridicule them for their English, they become defensive. Now, now they don't want to speak English in front of anybody. Why? Because if I say the wrong thing, they're going to ridicule me and take the mick out of me. So they stay dumb, meaning that dumb is in the sense of not speaking. They pretend that they can't speak. They, they, they show themselves as not able to converse because they, if they say the wrong thing, you're going to get ridiculed. Does everyone understand where I'm coming from? Okay, so there's a certain way of pronouncing a certain thing. And unfortunately, because of us, we're born here, right? We can speak English better than the brothers who come from abroad, but that doesn't give us the right to ridicule people. And that's what the verse is saying. Asa yakunu khayran minhum. Don't think just because they can't speak English as good as you that you've got to ridicule them. Maybe they may be better than you. What, you think you're just, you got that fazilat because you can speak English? How do you know? Well, just because you can speak a bit of English, just because you got a red passport, just because you got a business, just because you got a bit of money. They only came here now, you came here 20 years ago. So what does that make you better, does it? No, only Allah knows who's good and who's not. So I, I, I feel this because I, you know, I, had a, I have relatives and they've gone through this and we hear about this as well. So it's our duty to highlight this. And I, make, and I hope and pray that someone listens to this and then they will pluck up the courage to go to those people and offer an apology and say, I'm sorry, if I ever made you feel like that, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And I'll just offer an apology. An apology will go a long way, inshallah.